Hi everyone so today i have something very interesting i'll show you a fine tuned model of flux which if you use very carefully and the process i use to create the images you can almost produce images which are comparable to the mid journey's output and this is pretty insane because if you see when it comes to art styles flux uh, still tries to push it towards uh, you know that realistic feel and uh, it is not that great with paintings arts and anything but uh, here you can see this is the pixel wave uh, model and it creates pretty good paintings and it is not only used for painting i'll show you a way that you can also increase the quality of photorealistic images i have created a whole set of comparisons for you with all the parameters and uh, with uh, having the same things and uh, just the prompt differs and you can see when it comes to even realistic photos the flux looks slightly more unnatural than when it comes to the pixel wave this actually looks like a photo it is very realistic whereas flux has that you know plastic skin tone and uh, a slightly higher contrast and everything and remember this is with the same uh, cfg scales and everything so now I'll show you. I am using the quantized uh, version, the 4-bit version Q4 for pixel wave, as well as the normal one because I am using this on my laptop, right? And I am not using any kind of LoRa. You can see the guidance is uh, 3.5 and 3.5 for both of these. One interesting thing I am using for both of these is the Lang Sigma sampler, and I'll provide the workflow. Uh, Comfy UI workflow. When you download, you can see there is a detailed demo nodes new, and it has this Lang Sigma sampler, which I feel like uh, increases the details slightly, and I like it, so I am using it, right? And uh, this is everything else is same. I am using the beta schedule of steps 25. Just remember, when you want to create something photorealistic, like I showed, it's better to increase the steps to at least 30. and everything else is just like uh, it is taking the text and it is combining them uh, into a single image for comparison so that's not the big deal i'll show you a way how we can copy the art styles from mid journey uh, for example this is a website right this is called mid library and you can see there are many different for example if you go to all styles you can see there are many different kinds of styles and everything is there and uh, the only thing is they have these artist names and if you provide this to mid journey it can easily understand what kind of uh, like image it has to create but uh, our flux and pixel wave because these are very small models and we are running them locally that to quantized versions they are not that good with the artist names or just the uh, styles like if you put cubism or stuff like that it would not be that great uh, one thing which i like to do is Okay, for this I am using Perplexity, but uh, I have a subscription. You can use it for free for some generations. You can use uh, ChatGPT for free. But if you do not have any uh, like uh, paid LLM subscription, right? I have something for you. That is called Google AI Studio. Now remember, you have Gemini app, right? And Gemini has uh, an uh, image like uh, it can analyze different image, the Gemini Vision. but the problem with gemini vision free uh, tier is that when you upload any image and it has humans in it it would deny uh, to process it so this is a problem which i found now the work around which i have is that google ai studio is something which is very similar but it has all the different models like uh, gemini pro gemini flash and everything and this is mainly for the developers but one thing which i have found is that you can actually upload any image and then you can choose like the gemini pro version and you can uh, like literally use it like any chatbot like chat gpt inside google ai studio so that is a work around and it is completely free so you can use it for free and follow the same steps that i am using with uh, perplexity 
you see there is a text here i want to create an image in exact same style as these four images using ai write me a prompt so i can create images in the exact same style capture the style uniqueness essence of these images without giving the contents as the content will be added by me in less than 50 words you see most of the time i'm repeating these words exact same style and everything the so uh, this particular model understands and now once you put that after that you can just uh, upload keep on uploading images and say this one same is for google ai studio you can upload the images and then you can like uh, ask to create uh, prompts for that only you don't need to put that first like main system prompt again and again so here what i'll do is i'm clearing this i'll go to this website and it has hundreds like thousands of different styles i'll just copy this because i liked it and I'll paste it and I'll just say this one. Now remember one thing, you can see that this is a black and white image, right? And in Comfy what I'm doing is whatever the prompt I will be getting, I put the content in first. Like this is what I want to recreate uh, and this part is basically the style, style description. Now because it has a blue dress and you can see in this particular uh, style that it is always black and white we can have some interesting results it is not necessary that we will have exactly like this uh, outcome but you can recreate a lot of different things you can at least have this effect you know and here i'll just upload it and it will create a prompt so i'll just copy it right i'll copy this whole part and here i'll just replace the style part so guys as you can see that the generations are complete and for the normal flux model it still looks like a photography and uh, when we see the pixel wave now one thing you would have noticed is that this uh, was the image right that we were using and although it is not exactly the same like the style is not exactly same there are more like scratchy lines in these one but it's still that you know the charcoal kind of effect there are silhouettes of people you can see uh, this is what it is here uh, the contrast is slightly higher but that is something which can be normally fixed with any editor you can see like uh, faint smudges and everything it also has that same thing and also the blue color is present that we wanted the woman wearing a blue dress and the blue color is also smudged and you can see slight uh, reflections kind of thing you know so it is pretty well and especially like even if it is not replicating exactly it is pretty well when it comes to uh, comparison with the flux model because the flux model cannot uh, follow the prompt that well so this is one thing and now i'll show the different uh, images that i generated and uh, the main image was uh, the main content was same the blue dress a woman in a blue dress right this was uh, pop art you can see like the main focus was for pop art and uh, the right one is pixel wave left one is flux you can see if i zoom in it has that uh, you know papery kind of texture even where the blacks are this is not true for flux so a slight modification but uh, even flux performs very well this was high contrast monochromatic art style ethereal flowing fabric you know textures abstract motion blur effects and you can read the whole prompt now this has that flowing dress you know but uh, this looks pretty natural and real this is more uh, something which we would expect with a fantasy kind of photography or vfx or something like that this does not seem like a real dress that we were aiming for we were not like ethereal uh, flowing fabric texture we did not want a normal dress just flowing so it kind of i think like uh, follows the prompt very well but then again this is very close now it excels when it comes to photography you can see this is uh, i am using this technique like uh, 
put any image name dot cr2 and this used to be a canon raw file format previously and red crop top denim shorts pin up pose bed up uh, bedroom background and you can see that everything looks more natural here there is no loras uh, on both of these images the texture the fingernail uh, the shorts the crop top everything looks too much uh, like uh, realistic even the sunlight you see this has the lamp on so uh, the prompt following is very well when it comes to pixel wave uh, this one is oil painting you can read the whole prompt here and uh, this one is oil painting this is flux and you can see that uh, uh, you know how we use oil paints this kind of looks uh, better now if we look behind this was still okay when it comes to painting but if you see the textures of the flux uh, image generation this is not even painting this is like real skin so that becomes a problem here you can see this is all painting the dress is all painting but when it comes to skin maybe it has been trained on skin so much that it tries to create realistic skin but even then the realistic skin does not exactly look real you know this looks way more real than this that's a problem and here you can see like uh, using the oil paints and everything uh, you can actually feel the, you know the thickness the viscosity of paint and uh, I, i think it's pretty amazing now this was uh, another oil painting style but with uh, soft muted palette and minimalistic uh, portrait a uh, more like a dreamy vibe and you can see that this does not look painting at all so uh, anything if you uh, look at these textures you see these freckles these are not paintings whereas this definitely is this looks more like uh, soft pastels if you know but uh, uh, this still look, looks a uh, kind of a painting this is from dutch golden age portrait style uh, painting and you can see again the same thing looks way more realistic like it has the vibe it has a dress and everything going on but it is not uh, you cannot say this dress you know this fabric this is painted this looks very real this looks like a cosplay whereas this and the thing which i love about this uh, model is that if you look at this painting style right uh, look at the background here and then come to this you can literally tell what different kind of paints have been used and even this so uh, this is uh, quite good and another thing if you can notice is that i think three quarter pose right so three quarter pose this is actually more like of three quarter pose i think this is not so this is something pretty good now one thing where i think like it has is uh, positive as well as negative is when it comes to intricate designing uh, it somewhat loses the connection so i don't know how like this is going behind you see uh, these but this necklace right and it trails till here but we do not see something here it should go till the back so this is something i found it was a little bit weird and also if you see the designs uh, these do not make much sense the patterns but again when we see of flux the designs the henna designs look very good you can see this was actually a portrait and a photography and this is the whole prompt now this has way more details and uh, it has better art obviously the symmetry and everything is pretty good and natural one thing you would have noticed is that even with the same guidance same cfg this has very high contrast which sometimes makes it look a little bit plasticky or uh, you know painting like effect but here it is way more controlled and also if you look at the skin this has a uh, a very typical skin texture that we expect from ai it i am not saying that this is not realistic but now look at this it is way more subtle and somehow the skin looks very real when it comes to portraits 
so that is one thing this is where i think like you can understand the difference perfectly even when flux follows a prompt this was a hyper realistic marble sculpture ethereal white stone and flowing fabric like textures right so flux understood the prompt but when it came to generate it also created this like marble style statue but when we come to pixel wave this is something very different like this looks real like you cannot say this is not a real statue a photograph of statue whereas this somehow looks uh, not only ai like you know uh, it looks like 3d modeling it looks uh, cgi this does not so when pixel wave performs it actually performs very well even if you look at the colors on the marble they have faded slightly from here darker here you know so uh, the natural vibes you see the texture of this marble is also changing when it is broken roughly and these kind of things put it way ahead from what we are seeing from flux but then again like uh, i would like you to try it uh, on different prompts and see which one performs better and if you have any kind of doubt or any kind of question just put it in the comment section below and i'll try to reply as soon as possible yeah thank you